Okay, so a lot of people are having a hard time getting some of the text or buttons to link to pages. So that the process has changed a bit, and one of our videos I know talks about setting up bookmarks in other pages. Now that's what we should be doing. We should be setting up a table of contents properly and all that stuff. If you're in a super tight spot and you just need to make it work, here's a workaround. So workaround number one is that I have here make a button out of the text. So what I'm doing is that with my selection tool, I just select the text box. Now I'm not going over here to hyperlinks or bookmarks. I'm instead going to go up here to type. I'm going to come down to hyperlinks and cross references, go to new hyperlink. Now, in new hyperlink, this is again for the entire bar of the text box, not the text itself. I come down and here to link to, I can now select page. I could also go to a text anchor, which would take me to a link within a block of text. That too, like a bookmark, I'd have to place in advance. But for now, I just want to go to page. And for grins, I'm just going to say, let's go to page three. All right. I'm going to click OK. Just link, to, link the text to a page. This I can do by just selecting the text. I'm now in the text tool. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come up to type and hyperlinks and cross references, new hyperlink. And it's set to page. This time I'm going to send it to page, what do I want, four, five. I'll go five. Why not? Click OK. And now I could also do the same thing with an object. Now, ideally, I started to write this in some notes. Um, you know, in your page to page navigation arrows or icons, you know, ideally, at least for my classes, I prefer that you design forward arrows and backward arrows using Illustrator. Come up with a nice graphic and, and make it look nice, um, you know, instead of just drawing a line and making an arrow. Anyway. If you do that, you have an image icon here, you know, JPEG or whatever it might be. Uh, you select it, and you still, even though it's an object, you still go up to type and place the hyperlinks cross-references the same way. Go to New Hyperlink, Link to Page. Now also, if you wanted to make it to a website, you could. But um, anyway, page there, and I'm going to make this page 6, I guess. And I'll click OK. So then we, you know, save it. I'll go, I'll just save it. I've been, this is a document I've been using for demos. Uh, but now I will export a PDF. I export it. I confirm that it's interactive. Uh, I'm going to call this prepping the PDF 2. Uh, and now I'm going to click save. I'm going to confirm that spreads is checked here. And I know a lot of people are having a point right here, having a problem right at this point of um, Adobe telling you that your PDF isn't going to support uh, interactivity. Now that's, um, this workaround I'm showing you is meant to defeat that prompt so that it will support interactivity. I should have said that at the start, but nonetheless, here we are. So I'm gonna hit export. I'm going to click OK through the CMYK warning, and here it is. I've got my, I'm going to show you just all the pages here. Yeah, so I made little numbers earlier. So I made a button out of text, goes to page three. That works, yay. Just a link the text to a page, goes to page five, yay. And place a link to an object, click on that. I go to page six. So it's cheating, kind of, but at the same time, if you're at a point with this project and you just got to make it work, this is a way to make it work. Um, deal? Deal. All right. Enjoy.